everyone. So this is going to be a reading for the collective. I'm going to pull some cards for you guys and see what messages the universe has for you. This is going to be for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you're returning, welcome back. All right, so this Empress card has been very popular, popping out everywhere, even in my private um, readings that I've been doing. So we have the Empress and the Fool. Some of you could be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries. What I'm seeing here, well, wait, before I say that, let me just pull one more. With the Empress and the Fool, these are two major arcanas popping out in the beginning of your reading. You're taking a risk. Um, you're moving forward, you're taking a leap of faith here, knowing your worth. You could possibly be pregnant by someone or birthing some sort of idea or becoming aware of what it is that you need to do. And it could be for some of you moving forward, leaving something behind with this Empress and the Fool card. All right, so let's see. Yeah, we have the Three of Cups. Okay. Hmm. Some of you may have met someone else. And you may be moving away from a situation that you're no longer interested in. You could still be interested in this person. Maybe you still love them, but you just feel like it's not going anywhere. Um, maybe this person plays too many games or they're not wanting anything serious. And with the Three of Cups, I feel like you guys have been going out, meeting new people. Some of you could have met a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We have an Aries energy and Taurus. Okay, so let's see where this goes. Spirit messages do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective? I don't know why I'm channeling somebody walked away from you guys. Somebody ghosted you. Or either they're not, somebody's not speaking to you. But I feel like if you're not talking to this person, collective, it's going to be okay. Because I feel like some of you have met someone or you will be meeting someone new. We have the King of Cups here. I feel like someone is extremely emotional about this connection. Or you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Yeah, Nine of Swords. Worry, fear, anxiety. You may be feeling like something is over, but you're not quite sure. Um, this I feel like whoever you guys are dealing with, it's like they're not speaking to you right now. And you're not speaking to them. But you want to talk to this person. Because you want to find out if things are over. But then for some of you, I feel like you're moving forward. Because you may have had a choice between more than one person. Why did I know that, that card was going to slide on the floor? Give me one second. Okay. Seven of Wands. Some of you are very regarded with your person. Because you don't trust them. You feel like something is going on behind your back. And you don't really see where things are headed. Some of you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. I also see air energy here as well. All right, so all of these cards just wanted to come out of the deck here. I feel like some of you, your person wants to talk to you, but they're holding back. They're being stubborn. And they could have went towards someone else. Um, I'm also picking up the energy that if your person ghosted you and went towards someone else, it's not going to work out for them. So you're going to hear from this person and you may decide to move away from the situation and they're going to be upset about it. We have the hangman. So something is stuck here or you're dealing with the Pisces. There's a lot of stuck energy between you and the person. It's like you can't get them to tell you what it is that they want. They're not telling you what their intentions are. If you guys are going to have um, a relationship, you know, if they want a relationship, if they're over with another person. Or what? It's like you don't know what's happening here. So what messages do you have for the collective? The Six of Wands. So you're going to have victory regardless of what this person does. I feel like someone is stuck. They're not moving. But you're going to have victory anyway in this connection. Okay? I feel like some of you are going to either decide to walk away from it. Or this person is going to come back in. But you're going to meet someone else with the Three of Cups that came up there. I feel like somebody may have you in a third-party situation. For some of you, you know about it. And for others, you don't. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collectors? I just feel like the beginning of you guys reading is moving so slow. And I'm not quite sure why. So let's see what comes out here. <laughs> I'm telling you, I cannot make this shit up. 
the Knight of Pentacles just flew out of the deck when I said, I feel like some of you guys, you're reading, like this reading is moving slow in the beginning for some reason. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign, a Virgo Taurus or a Capricorn, and this person is dragging their feet to tell you what it is that they want. But the reason why it's happening is because they have someone else to choose from and they don't want to walk away from this other person. We have the King of Pentacles. So some of you are definitely dealing with an earth sign. Okay, Virgo Taurus or Capricorn energy here. If this is you, I feel like you have a choice between two people. You don't know who to choose, okay? You're codependent on one and the other one you really love, okay? There's a lot of passion. There's a lot of chemistry with you and this person. For some of you, this person is locked up. I don't know why I'm getting that. You know why? Because I keep like the, the vision of someone being behind bars and you're guarded about the situation because you're like, I don't know. If, if I should like stick this out with this person or not, they're locked up. They're they're either locked up now in prison or jail, or they have a court case and they don't know where it's headed. And you feel like, should I waste my time? You don't know. You may see this as a waste of time. Yeah, there's a decision that you need to make when it comes to love here for some of you. And it's about someone being locked up, okay? It could be a Gemini that you're dealing with. We have the lovers here. Or this is just um, you needing to make a decision and you don't know like how to make this decision the queen of pentacles yeah because you're very nurturing i feel like someone is expecting you to stick something out someone is expecting you to stay around like hang around and stay with them until they make up their mind what it is they want to do and you're not sure if you're making the right decision Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective and for those of you, if someone walked away from you, you're going to hear from this person because like this deck keeps wanting to slide out of my hand. So it's like somebody wants to talk to you. We have the two of wands here. There's a decision that someone's going to make concerning you. I feel like you're going to hear from this person this weekend or you've already heard from them today and you wasn't expecting it. It's either um, by text message or um, something on social media is what I'm picking up. Some of you, this person could live at a distance. We have the Queen of Cups here. Some of you are dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio, and you're really emotional about the situation, but you refuse to reach out to this person um, because it's like you've been holding back because you're trying to get a reaction or you're trying to figure out if you holding back is going to cause this person to want to reach out to you. So I feel like you're just trying to handle this the best way that you can, but you're really not sure how to handle it at all. Because you just don't know where you stand with them. It's like you're wondering if this person truly loves you. And if they walked away, they walked away to someone else. But I don't see it working out. I just keep like channeling that energy. And also when I was pre-shuffling for you guys, I just kept seeing the cards of somebody walking away but needing you later. We have the Two of Swords. So with the Two of Wands and the Two of Swords and the lovers there's some decision either you need to make about love or your person and they're struggling to make it for some of you they live with someone it could be their child's mother or their child's father and there's a codependent situation they're like taking care of someone like pays their bills or they give them money this person could be looking for a job maybe they lost their job and it's like um they are not back on their feet yet so they depend on someone here is what i'm getting because I feel like the love is with you, but even though the love is with you, it's like they can't mess up whatever they have. Yeah, this person is not in control of their life right now with the Emperor Reverse. Some of you are dealing with an Aries and they're just not in control of their life. And I feel like you're going to walk away from this person because it's like you have two people in your life and it's like you need to make a choice. And I feel like they need to make the choice. They need to make a choice as well, but you need to make a choice too. Okay. Yeah, some of you are dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius, and they may make you feel like they may make you think that they have more than what they um actually have. This person make you think that they're fine, but they're really not. They depend on someone. They live with somebody, and it's like they can't walk away from this situation if they wanted to, because they. They're not financially stable. I feel somebody's not financially stable here. And they're just not telling you. Yeah, six of stores in reverse. They're not going though. If they walked away, they're not going. I feel like they're trying to quiet the storm. 
where they are. So there's some sort of um, issue or drama or problems that they're going through with someone that they live with. And they're trying to quiet down that storm. Because I feel like whoever they're with, that person is on their heels about um, committing or hanging around the house more. Or like hanging out with them and the kids or just being available. And so I feel like this person can't come and see you the way they used to. They, they don't talk to you the way they used to or something here. And it's making you suspicious because you're wondering, like, why did you just up and leave like that? Why did you just stop talking to me? I feel like somebody just stopped talking to you out of the blue. Yeah. Page of Cups. Somebody stopped offering love to you out of the blue with the Page of Cups reverse. Could have been a younger water sign, Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio. And you're trying to figure out, like, do you still want, do they still want this? It's like, do you still want this or not? Like, why did you stop talking to me? And you're thinking it's because of you, but it's not. This person is emotionally unstable with the Knight of Cups coming out in reverse. They're coming back. They're very flighty. They don't know what they want. They don't know how to handle this situation. They want you and this other person for different reasons. For you, I feel like there's love there. There's chemistry. There's passion. You guys get along good. You know, you're very compatible. I feel like they're not that compatible with this other person, but they stick around because for one, there's history. This could be their child's mother or their child's father. And they're just used to being with this person. Like they're used to being taken care of something like their needs are being met one way or another. And they don't want you to know that. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? What messages do you have for the collective? I'm going to pull some message cards here. And we're going to find out why this person um, ghosted you. So if someone ghosted you or they just stopped talking to you and you're not sure why it happened then we're going to find out because I feel like someone was like with you on Monday or Tuesday and then they just stopped talking to you and you have no clue why it happened and this person still isn't talking to you and you're like what did I do or either you got into an argument or um a disagreement with this person and they just stop reaching out and then it's like when you text them or when you call them they don't respond why is these cards like this okay yeah, because we have the star card in reverse. Wow. We have the devil in reverse. And we also have the magician. Then the magician wanted to come out sort of sideways. So I feel like there's some manipulation here with this situation. Could be a Gemini you guys are dealing with. We have Gemini energy here. We have Capricorn and we have Aquarius. The star card came out in the reverse. I don't feel like you guys have a lot of faith in this situation. There's something that you're wanting really, really bad. Okay, um, you're hoping and wishing something turns around. And I feel like with the devil card in reverse, there's some toxic energy that you're going to come out of when it comes to this person. And things are going to manifest. But if you're looking for this person to settle down and commit, you may not get that because of the simple fact that they have to leave someone else to come towards you. And I feel like they're not leaving that person. It's like they're going to stay with that person, but they're still coming back towards you. So there won't be a commitment, but they're still going to come towards you. So I feel like for some of you, you're going to have to make up your mind. What do you really want from this person? Because if you want a stable, solid foundation, I just spoke this card up, the seven of pentacles. If you want a stable, solid foundation, collective, um, you may not get that with this person right now. Now, I feel like this person wants to be in your life, okay? They want a connection with you, but they want to make the rules and the regulations to this situation, and I feel like you're not having it. And this is possibly why you're not getting along with this person. The Seven of Pentacles is all about something that you've put a lot of hard work into. You're wondering if it's still going to grow, okay? Should you still put work into this, or should you just let it go? Because you've put a lot of work into it so far, but you feel like it's not going the way you want it to. And so you may be feeling like you wasted your time or you put a lot of energy and effort into something and you expect it to get the same thing back. Okay. You expected a good investment, um, a good return on your investment is what I meant to say with this situation, but you feel like you're not getting it. And you're wondering if you should stick around with this person. I do see someone coming back, but I don't see this person committing. And I see this person possibly running away again with the hermit. Some of you could be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like whoever you're dealing with, 
you may not be that compatible with this person, but you really love them and they really love you. And you guys are like trying to make this work. I just see you struggling though, trying to make something work with someone that you're not that compatible with. I feel like the reason why you're not that compatible is someone needs a lot of alone time with the hermit. They like to be in solitude. They like to pull back. You know, they like to be alone, think things through. And I feel like you're just the opposite. You're like, why can't we just deal with things together? Why Why you always got to deal with things alone? And that make you suspicious of this person. Like, you know, what is going on? How do you really feel? Do you really want to be with me? Because if you did, you wouldn't keep running away or needing alone time. Um, Ace of Wands. Okay, so this person's going to come back and take action. Didn't I just say they were not? They're going to be non-committal. The Hierophant is in the reverse. Taurus energy. Some of you are dealing with the Taurus. That's going to be non-committal. Yeah. Ace of Swords in reverse. You still are not going to have clarity about the situation. Let's pull some message cards here, this person. Because at the bottom of the tech is the Chariot in reverse. So I feel like something is not going to move forward. Some of you could be dealing with the Cancer. Yeah, it's not going to move forward because of the two of pentacles this person is still juggling it's up like how they feel is up in the air they don't know what they want we have the death card like you're seeking change and transformation some of you could be dealing with a scorpio the four of wands this person could be married they may be in a situation where they're married and it's hard to get out of it um and so because they need to divorce or separate and they're afraid to do it because they don't know if it's the right thing to do and we have the tower. So there's some sort of tower situation that you either went through or that you're going to go through with this person. And I feel like you're going to be pissed off because this person runs away a lot. But not only that, they can never make up their mind about what they want. And so they tell you that they love you and they care. But you're like, okay, so if you love me and you care, then make me the choice. Like, why is it that you can't decide? And I feel like the reason why... Yeah, because we have drama. Five of Wands coming. The reason why this person is not telling you is because they don't want to look bad. This person knows that they're going to be embarrassed if they tell you, like, I can't financially walk away from this situation because this person does a lot for me. They do more than you think, more than you know. So there's a lot of things that you don't know about this person and what they have going on in this other lifestyle, I'll say. Because they have another lifestyle with someone else. Not style. That's the wrong thing to say. I didn't want to say they have another lifestyle. They have another life. So they're leading a double life. For some of you and they don't want you to know everything that's going on and why they can't come towards you i feel like this person is just financially challenged for one for two um <clears throat> excuse me <clears throat> almost lost my voice there somebody you guys aren't talking to somebody and you want to speak to them they want to talk to you but they're trying to act like they don't care when they really do Okay. I don't know why I just lost my voice. But anyway, so I just feel like whoever this person is, there's going to be some conflict when they come back. Because you're going to be like, okay, you stayed away from me. You weren't talking to me. Now you're coming back wanting to talk, but we're not getting anywhere. Like, you know, have you made up your mind about what it is that you want? And I feel like this person still hasn't made up their mind about what they want. You cannot make this shit up. Eight of Swords. And I shuffled the hell out of these cards, y'all. I'm telling y'all, I shuffled, like, I pre-shuffled for a long time. Very long time. Um, Five of Wands, Eight of Swords. There's going to be conflict or, like, you f just, you're still going to feel like you're in competition with somebody else. And you're going to be like, okay, you're back, but has anything changed? Do you even know what you want? Like, why are you coming back to me with the same ass energy? <sighs> Ten of Wands burdens issues problems something that's extremely heavy all right let's pull some message cards here and let's see why your person is pulling back why they ghosted you why they walked away why they're not saying anything this is the next part at the bottom of the deck is the five of pentacles so you're still going to be feeling left out in the cold you're still going to be feeling a lack here Let's see. Spirit, what messages do you have for the collective? Why did their person ghost them? Why did they walk away? Why are they not talking to them? Okay, so two wanted to come out here. 
we have differences. You're someone really different from my usual type. I find it hard to read you. And then we have hurt. I need some inner child healing before I can cultivate any kind of relationship. This person has some childhood wounds that they're still suffering from or dealing with. And it causes them to um, have difficulties in relationships. Spirit. What messages do you have? What messages do you have to collective? Why did their person walk away? Okay, why did they stop talking to them? Spirit, what messages do you have? All right, so we have rejection. Something you said made me feel rejected. I feel like you may have told somebody off about themselves. Like you may have said, you know, you're being immature. You know, you keep running in and out of the connection. You're not saying what you want. You only show up here when you want sex. And then you stay for a day or two and then you leave. And I don't hear from you after that. And I feel like some of you went off on somebody and it may have caused an argument. And then we have fear. I didn't want to get too attached to you. I fear commitment. Yeah. Yeah. Just like I said in your reading, I don't feel like this person wants to commit. They love you. They want a connection with you. But it's like they don't want to settle down because that means that they're going to have to walk away from a situation that they're already in, that they're codependent to because they need that person because they're not financially stable or emotionally stable. Um, we have deception. I was worried that I would get caught dating you. I had to cut it off. Yeah, this person is committed somewhere else. They're either married or they're living with someone differences i knew i had to increase my effort to be with you i wasn't able to do that yeah there's some see you require a lot out of this person you require this person to step up to the plate and do the right thing we also have i thought you were just playing mind games so i didn't bother we have gossip People said some really mean things about you. Now I don't trust you. I feel like somebody, family members, is getting involved in you guys' situation. So whoever you're dealing with, they have a lot of friends or family members that get involved in their relationships. And then they stand back and watch it and let it happen. Because I feel like that's what this gossip card is surrounding. Somebody um, is like interfering in you guys' connection. Or it could be some um, somebody's baby mom or baby father that's interfering. Spirit, spirit, why did this person ghost you? Why did this person walk away? Why did this person ghost you? Why did they walk away? All right, we have, you said some things that really hurt me. Yeah, you told, I'm trying to tell you, listen, I feel like some of you told somebody about themselves and they couldn't take the truth. And you may have said, you know what? I need to know more. What is going on with you? For some of you, this person lives at a distance. You're dating them online and you feel like they don't open up enough. So you have no clue what's going on with them. And especially because you don't see them on a normal basis. Okay. You talk to them online or you Skype with them, maybe um, Zoom or something or FaceTime on, your, on, on the phone with them or something, but you don't really get to spend a lot of time with them so you can only go by what they say and i feel like this person pulls back a lot like you can't talk to them at a certain time you can't text them if you text them they won't respond yeah okay so let's get a couple more so we have i like to play mind games to make you miss me this person has some issues they're narcissistic they like to be in charge i did see that um, and then we have i felt like you would only end up hurting me in the end i didn't want to risk getting hurt and we have, I'm pretty happy on my own and was fearful it would change. I'm not really a relationship type of person. It's best I move on. Wait, it's best you move on. Okay, let me reread that. I'm pretty happy on my own and was fearful of it changing. I'm not really a relationship type of person. It's best you move on. So those are the messages that I have for your reading. I just want to say thank you for supporting my channel. Like, comment, subscribe if this reading is resonating with you. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram at My Christ Never Lied Tarot. I'm also on TikTok at The Empress 522. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.